Shit! Oh, oh. Somebody out there, please! I'll pay anything you want just to help me! Oh god, there's a monster on the roof of our car! Ugh. Ozone Attack of the Redneck Mutants. I titled this one Nothing. Oh, Grandpa's throwing up. Oh, now he's a zombie. This is so bad. I don't know where to start with it, so I guess I'll just start with the biggest problem audiences will be faced with as soon as they watch this movie. There's no audio. Apparently the filmmakers couldn't record audio, so the entire movie is dubbed. The dialogue, the footsteps, the birds, whatever this farting groan is in the background of this scene. Oh, All of it is dubbed worse than the movie starring Godzilla. Since they couldn't record audio, the filmmakers instead created long scenes of people doing anything other than speaking. You're going to watch rednecks doing laundry, rednecks shooting pumpkins, and, well, torture a goldfish with kissy faces. Dude, this is the worst. Come on. When the movie isn't avoiding having to create a story through people talking and actually doing things for a change... What plot there is is filled with holes as big as the hole in the ozone that is supposedly making all these rednecks into zombies. You see, the zombies just occur. They just happen. There's no real reason given as to why people are turning into zombies. Some guy's taking a crap, he pukes, boom, he's a zombie. Everyone just gets sick and croaks. It's like watching a modern documentary on the plight of the unvaccinated moron in their natural habitat. They're just sitting there cutting on melons, and then they're scalping grandma. At least these rednecks are eating their cousins instead of procreating with them, I guess. So our story is centered around two unlikable people who go out into the boonies to yell at each other and be unpleasant in the great outdoors. They do things like look at dead cows and dumps, get attacked by mutant gophers, and try to find out what is killing all these rednecks and turning them into flesh-eating goons. Oh no, we have to save these Republican voters! I'd rather watch a movie about rehabilitating pedophiles by letting them be birthday clowns. Honestly, I would. It, it would be better. That all said, the only decent part of this movie is the gore and makeup FX. They really did a good job of being slimy, but not as slimy as the Turd Brothers. Now give a big hand to the Turd Brothers, Hemi and Roll. Well, thank you there, X-Lax. He's, uh, the uh, Preparation H. He cures all of us assholes. Two comedians, I guess that's what they are in, in the movie. I, I'm not kidding, their humor is all poop-based. It's, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. It, it actually, you know, on the top ten worst people list, like, they bumped Hitler down. It was crazy. I didn't believe it myself. But they did it. It's a shame that the zombies don't do anything but smash watermelons on cars and... Uh, oh, sorry, that, that's not a zombie. That's a redneck. Uh, well, anyway, at least the zombies are safety conscious. Like this one that somehow has the intelligence to cut phone lines while wearing large rubber safety gloves. Safety first, I guess. Even if you're dead. As bad as these tongue-gnashing zombies can be, the real horror in the movie is this lady and whatever she's doing here. Oh, my soul. To the company. What is she wailing about? Wait Jesus Christ. I, oh, I pine for when the movie showed us grandma and her kissy fishy faces. That was more bearable than Loretta here. Jesus. And once that's over with, all that's left in the movie is scenes of a decomposing Chris Farley further harassing a goldfish. This scene, it made me legitimately angry. And it's a good thing it's basically the last scene in the movie because I almost turned it off in anger, something I've really never done with a movie before that I can remember. It's so cheap, it's so crappy. Why would you harass a living animal to make your stupid movie? It's, even if it's a fish, honestly, that fish has more value than whoever made this movie. That's, that's how I feel about ozone. I give this awful trash you'll be begging for deliverance from one hole in the ozone that is absolutely dwarfed by this movie's long, long bouts of runtime with absolutely nothing going on out of one. There was no five ever possible with this thing. And you don't have to take just my word for how bad it is. What the fuck? Melon's done shit on this car. Shit. Exactly. All of these things that 
designed to frighten a monkey.